What's up you guys, Zanati. Welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to talk about neurons and it's the part 1. It's about structure and function as you read in the title. Part 2 is going to be next Friday which will be about how neurons communicate. So let's start with the part 1 today. Our entire body is composed of cells. Each type of cells have a special function, a special purpose. Therefore they have a special structure. Like the skin cells are very flat whereas muscle cells are long and stretchy although they have a special function a special structure they do have three things in common a nucleus a cell body and a cell membrane a cell membrane that is holding all of it together now a neuron is also a cell it's a nerve cell it is the fundamental unit of the nervous system why if you ask then neurons are the things that actually sends and receives messages in this system the nervous system so they are one of the messengers in this system and again because of that they do have a special structure although they may have different shapes and sizes a typical neuron consists of these four things first is the cell body or soma second is the dendrites third is the axon and the fourth is the synaptic terminal Cell body or soma is that part of the cell that contains the nucleus and it keeps the entire cell alive and functioning. This is the place where the neuron makes the decisions of whether to send the signal or a message to the other neuron that is connected to. Dendrites are these thin structures like fibers branching out of the cell body. Dendrites are like receivers. They receive messages from the other neurons they are connected to and pass it on to the cell body. As on one side there are dendrites to receive messages, then on the other side you have axons that send these messages. Now axon is a fiber that arises from the cell body at a site called axon hillock and then connects to the axon. Let's sidetrack a little bit. Neurons make up only of 10% of the cells in the brain whereas the other 90% are consisting of these glial cells which serve as sort of a structure on which these neurons grow and develop and function and glial cells actually provide a kind of um, a support holding these neurons in place. Now again these glial cells are also of different shapes and sizes which perform various different functions like providing nutrients to the neurons, uh, cleaning up all the remains of the neurons that have died and even providing insulation. So one such type of glial cell is known as Schwann cell and Schwann cell generates this layer of fatty substances called melanin. Have you noticed the cables that we have in our houses? These are the copper wires that are actually covered in plastic and this plastic actually serves as an insulating purpose. So these melin sheath also does the same job as a plastic for the axons but it not only provides insulation it also protect it provides protection from damage and also speeds up the neural message that is traveling down the axon. Sections of melin bump up next to each other and they keep small spaces between each other on the axon called as nodes. So what happens is that when messages is traveling down the axon, the message jumps at the nodes, avoiding the melon sheath. So this lets the message travel faster down the coated axon instead of the uncoated axon. Axon passes these messages to the other neurons through this thing called as axon terminal. At the tip of the axon terminal, there is this tiny little knob called as a synaptic knob or a synaptic terminal or a terminal button. Now this synaptic terminal has a number of sac-like structures called as synaptic vesicle. This synaptic vesicle has or is, con is filled with this fluid and a chemical substance called as neurotransmitter. I think that is it for today. We learned a lot about the structure and functions of neurons and next Friday we are going to see how two neurons communicate with each other. I hope you have learned something from this video. I am sure that you did. Then please give this video a big thumbs up and comment down below what other videos you want me to do and subscribe to this channel. Join the community please and support me and hit the bell notification so you will be notified every time I post a new video and I'll see you next Friday with another psychology video.